Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 8 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios Playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to copy the data from input blob to output as soon as the status turns to Y. So let's see the requirement in details. So as you can see, in my input container in my uh, ADLS, that is Azure Data Lake Storage, we have a file called players.csv. So we need to copy this file from input container to output container. But before that, we need to check once this status column turns to Y, as soon as this turns to Y, we need to copy the data. Okay. So from the business perspective, you can think of this requirement as once this file has been modified from the source team, they will update this status column to Y. And once this uh, gets updated to Y, uh, the same moment we have to copy the data from input to output container. Okay. So in ADF, we have a capability to run the pipeline as soon as a file is created or deleted. Okay, using something called event-based trigger. Okay, we will talk about it later. Uh, but there is no such capability to uh, run a pipeline when a file is modified. Okay, so uh, what we can do is to achieve that requirement, we can add this manual process that once this file is modified, what uh, the source people can do is they can update this status column to Y. And as soon as this turns into Y, we can copy the data. Okay, so let me go to Azure portal and let me start creating the pipeline practically. Before that, let me show you this file. So this contains few players name. So don't worry about this data. And we have a SQL table called file status, which contains the status column and the file name. And currently the status is n. Okay. So let me go to ADF pipeline and let me start creating the pipeline. Okay. So first of all, what we will do is we will create a variable. So let me give its name as uh, flag. Okay. And the default val value of for this variable, I will keep it as false. Okay. And now we will use something called until activity. Okay. What this activity does is it will loop through the activities present inside this until block until this condition is satisfied, whatever we are going to write in this expression option. Okay. So it will check once this expression turns into true, then it will come out of the loop. Okay. So here we need to check once this variable turns to true, then we need to come out of this loop and then we will have one copy activity. Okay. So let me write this expression as we have to check on the variable called flag. Okay. And for checking the variable, we need to use something called bool function. What it does is it will convert the pal parameter value to boolean expression. So let me give this bool function. Okay. So it will convert the string value of this uh, variable into Boolean expression. Okay. So currently this variable holds false. Okay. So this will return false. Okay. But inside this until block, we will turn the variable value to true once the status uh, column turns into Y. Okay. So for doing that, let me go inside this until block. And here we will look up on the value of that table. Okay. So since the table is in Azure SQL database, so let me use one uh, data set that is pointing to my Azure SQL table. And let me use this query option to look up on the value of the table called uh, file status. Okay. So let me use select status column from file status table. Okay. So we are good. Uh, we can keep this first row only option as true. Because we have only we have to look only for one particular column, uh, sorry, one particular row. So we are fine. So let me run till this point so that we can see what is happening. Then we will uh, create the complete pipeline. So you can see until activity is running and inside that lookup is continuously running. So it is trying to check once this condition is fulfilled. That is once this val uh, variable value turns to true. Until that point, it will keep on looping through the uh, activities present inside this block. Okay. So let me cancel this and then we will check the output. Okay. So you can see this lookup is giving us status value. Okay. That is N currently. Okay. For all the uh, iterations, it is having, sorry, it is having N as the uh, status value under this first row property. Okay. So let me go inside this activities. 
now we have to check once this status column turns to y then only we need to turn the uh, variable value to true okay so for doing that let me use if condition activity so let me uh, connect these two activities and here we will write expression to check the output of this lookup should be equal to y okay so let me give something called equals function and here we will make use of output of the lookup okay so let me give this one and we are getting the uh, status column inside uh, first row property so let me copy this so let me click on this and here output dot first row we need to check first row dot status value if it is equal to y then what we will do is we will set the variable value to true okay so for that what i will do is we will use set variable activity okay so we can set the value of a variable using this set variable activity so let me choose that uh, variable called flag and here let me provide the value as true okay so i am passing this as a string so let me run till this point so that you can get a better idea of what is happening okay so you can see pipeline execution is in progress inside this until block we are checking the status column what is the value of that if it is y then inside this if condition it will uh, turn the variable value to true and then it will come out of the loop since it is still n it is not turning the variable value to true so let me update this column to y update the table called file status set status column to y okay so let me run this one row got affected let me check that you can see status is turning to y now so let's wait for this execution so you can see once we turn the status to y this lookup is giving us the status value as y and then this set variable uh, activity ran okay before this we can see there is no set variable activity that ran okay so once we updated this status value to y okay then once it uh, lookup returned y then it went inside this true block of if condition and it uh, it turned the flag value to true okay and it came out of the loop and the pipeline execution got completed uh, automatically okay so now let me add the copy activity after this until block and here in the source let me create a data set pointing to my adls and the format i am giving csv and here let me select the file path that is inside input folder we have this file okay so we are good and in the sync let me create another data set pointing to new folder called output folder so let me give the folder name is output and let me give the file name as explicitly i am giving the file name as player.csv for now okay so we are good so let me turn this value to n again okay and let me debug this pipeline so you can see pipeline execution has been started and it is constantly looking upon the value of this status column okay since it is n it is constantly running the activities inside this until block and it is loop, looping through it once the condition will be fulfilled and once the status value will be y and it will turn the uh, variable to true then it will come out of the loop okay so what happens behind the scene is uh, suppose the source team has made changes to this uh, this file okay and they will man manually update this uh, status column to y okay so once this happens this pipeline which is running it will automatically copy the data from input folder to output folder so let's wait for that to complete so, so you can see this lookup the last lookup is giving us the status as y and then set variable activity got uh, completed and it turned the flag value to true and then 
we should be able to see that copy activity got completed. Okay. So, let me go back to the ADLS containers and here you can let me refresh this and you can see output folder got generated and inside this the file uh, that is players.csv got copied. Okay. So, this is how we can make use of until block and we can check for any condition. So, once this condition is fulfilled then only we will do other activities. Okay. So, that is it for this video guys. Uh, I hope you like the content. Uh, please like on the video and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet and also please hit on the bell icon to get notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much. Please stay tuned.